everyone, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. A todos, I am so glad to be back. And if you don't know who I am, well, now you know because I'm your girl, Ashley Alyssa. And welcome to, you guys already know, the Kitty Gang. Anyways, welcome back. I am back with a fresh look. And your girl is feeling these green vibes. And you know what? I decided to do a little bit of a lime green liner and I threw in some lime green pop of color on the eyes. Still neutral, super easy to do. I mean, maybe not the eyeliner, but it's okay if you practice, you got it. And I think I was kind of inspired by my nails. I am feeling this color. I have so much energy today, I don't even understand. I've been working out religiously and eating clean and drinking my alkaline water. And honestly, I have been feeling amazing. So sorry if I'm a little like me uh, right now. So this video is actually going to be a voiceover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe before you even continue to watch this video. Stop. Pause right now. Esperate. Okay. And go click the subscribe button and comment down below and let me know that you're a new subscriber. I am going to be serving looks you guys don't even know because you guys ain't even ready. You ain't even ready. <laughs> I can't even deal with myself. And this pelo, like, hello. She is so cute. Actually, her name is Shania and um, she's super soft and bouncy and she looks a little natural, but you already know it's not. So if you guys want to see how I created this limey look, just continue watching. Okay, kitty, so we are starting off with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and just drawing that under the brows just to define them a little bit more, cleaning them up. That way it's a lot easier to go in and fill them in. And I'm using the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil in number five, just filling in my brows. And honestly, this day, my brows were just not cooperating, so they were not my best work. So don't judge me, but it's okay because, you know, we make it work. So I'm just brushing them out, filling them in as best as possible. Next, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette and also the Urban Decay Electric palette, which we'll be using a little later. Now I'm just going in basically with some transition colors, adding some depth to the crease, adding a little bit more definition to my crease bones since I have hooded lids and now with a clean blending brush I'm just blending everything out nice and seamlessly next I'm going in with the color base and I'm gonna place that all over the lid area just packing it on then I'm gonna follow it again with some of that color incense right in the crease just adding a bit more depth to that area and back in with the color base and placing that right under the brows. Now I'm just blending everything out with that clean blending brush. Now comes the fun part and we're using the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner in the color Vivid Escape. And I'm just drawing a thin line and just winging it out. Now keep in mind that these liners actually dry pretty quickly so you do have to work with them pretty fast or either work with them in sections if not you might get a little bit of that drawing flaky effect but if you work with them pretty fast they'll dry and you won't have any issues and they look super cute now i'm going in with the electric palette and i'm just popping in the color freak and thrash and i'm popping that right in the inner corner of my eyes popping in some cheap lashes that i got from the beauty supply store and i'm just doing some color correcting under the eyes with my la girl concealer then of course using the maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation and i will list all of these products down below with details because right now i don't have them in front of me so uh, yeah, I'm just going in with the foundation, blending everything nicely. And this foundation, if you have not tried it, you have oily skin. It will keep you matte, but not too matte. Then again, going with that same concealer that I used earlier from Maybelline. And just concealing all those areas, you know, highlighting everything. Then going in with the Wet n Wild uh, contour stick and just contouring those areas. 
if you want to make your lips look a little bit bigger just contour around them and trust me they will look poppin now i'm just going in with my eagle tools beauty blender this legit has to be probably one of my favorite beauty blenders of all time besides like the morphe one but this just blends your makeup so nice so seamless honestly it just looks flawless so if you haven't tried this sponge try it out and it's super affordable you can pick it up at walmart but now i'm just blending in the contour area i like to blend out the contour and then go in with the areas that i concealed to highlight the highest points of my face and whatnot now i'm just blending out my concealer I had to add just a little bit more because I wanted to brighten up the under eye. I also wanted to clean up a little bit of that shadow and the liner, make it a little sharper as well, just so it looks more clean and flawless. Then going in with the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder and just setting my face. And you guys already know, I'm bacon. I'm baking a snack and that snack is my face. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm just going in and setting all over. Now I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and just warming up the face, adding a little more depth. And since I have that oily combination skin and we used a cream contour, I like to set it with a little bit of a powder just so it doesn't move and it lasts just a little bit longer. You don't want to go too heavy, but just enough to set it. And then, of course, just defining the nose a little bit more with some of that Too Faced setting powder. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle Blush and just lightly dusting that on the cheeks. It's such a pretty peachy golden color. It's a must have. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese Highlights, my all time favorite, bomb.com highlights. Honestly, it's my obsession. And I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Spray Primer and just wetting my brush just to give it more of a dewy look. Now I'm just brushing off the excess setting powder that I put on my nose and just blending a little bit more of that contour. Now I'm going back in with the highlight and just adding more glow to the skin. I like to look like a glazed donut. I mean, not everyone does, but you guys already know there's never too much highlights. Just pack it on, girls, pack it on but just make sure that you always blend it out. And you guys will see that as I'm done placing the highlight on my skin, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a moist beauty blender and just kind of blending that in nicely. Then going in with some mascara and just basically adding a little mascara to my natural lashes just to blend my natural lashes a little bit better with the falsies that I have on. Going back in with that loose setting powder and just cutting that contour. Cut it, cut it. And <laughs> then I'm going back in to the waterline and just adding a little bit of some brown shadow with the same colors that I used on my crease and transition colors is basically what I put on the lash line. And then just add a little more green, put in some mascara. Now dusting off any excess setting powder all over my face since we've been baking for a good minute now. Now I'm lining my lips with the lip liner from Palladio in the color Suede. I've had this color forever i have multiple ones in the same color because it's one of my favorites and i purchased it at walgreens i believe then i'm going in with some loose setting powder just to matte the lips that's basically a little secret to make them look matte and last all day long it's just put a little setting powder and it will not move it is in place locked in then i'm going with a little bit more lip liner just to even it out and darken it just a bit more as well now just going in with some highlight on the collarbones, you know, for that little extra touch. Super extra, but yes, this is the finished look. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. I will see my kitties very, very soon.